perfect fit is important. Now an Aussie Tech startup has a way to make sure everything is as millimeter perfect as this CX30. Hit the link to find out more. Mix FM News. Thrive Agri Services, helping your animals, farms, and people to thrive at thriveagriservices.com.au. Part of the Ace Radio Network, 88.9 and 93.7 Mix FM. 13 degrees in Melbourne, partly cloudy tomorrow, a top of 19. It's four o'clock. Good afternoon. I'm Tony Tardio. Gangland widow Roberta Williams has escaped a jail sentence for blackmailing a TV producer. Kiara Parker has more. A judge has shown mercy towards Roberta Williams, not ordering her to do unpaid community work as part of her two-year community corrections order because she's the sole carer for her non-verbal 11-year-old son who has autism. In 2019, following disputes about money for a Melbourne reality series, called Mob Wives, Williams concocted a plan to extort money from Ryan Nemenko. The TV producer feared for his life after he was lured to a Collingwood business where he was tied to a chair, threatened with a gun and assaulted during a three-hour ordeal. Nemenko was forced to transfer ownership of his mother's car and his father and sister each handed over $1,000. Williams didn't take part in the assault but was complicit through her presence. The 53-year-old will be supervised for two years years and have to complete any recommended mental health treatment or offender programs. Kiara Parker, Nine News. The Prime Minister has announced the inquiry. to Scott Morrison will be handed down by the 25th of November. Mr Morrison was secretly sworn into five portfolios between 2020 and 2021. Former High Court Judge Virginia Bell has been appointed. The Andrews government has failed in its bid to stop a class action into Victoria's hotel quarantine program. The Supreme Court has been given the green light for a class action as businesses chase billions of dollars in compensation for the bungle program that caused Victoria's Victoria's second lockdown. The second wave claimed more than 800 lives and caused four months of tough restrictions. Quinn Emanuel partner and lawyer Damien Scatini says businesses across the state will be able to take part. We will soon be inviting people to register their interests so businesses can keep their, have their records and their losses assessed at the appropriate time because you know, it'll be a year or so before we're asking for it. If they don't have the records, then it'll be difficult for them to re-establish it. So we'll be inviting them to do that. It's tens of thousands of businesses that are affected. Firefighters say a $57 million redress scheme for people exposed to toxic chemicals at the former CFA training college at Fiskville will ensure it never happens again. As many as 1,300 people who worked, trained or live near the training facility between 1972 and 2015 will qualify for payments of up to $45,000. The scheme will also provide mental health and medical support. Former New South Wales Deputy Premier John Barillaro is facing assault charges. Erin Maher in Sydney. When images emerged of Mr Barillaro in a tussle with a cameraman, he complained of being intruded on and harassed. The incident happened while he was out with friends in Manly. He was under intense scrutiny at the time over the New York trade roll. Mr Barillaro has been issued with a court attendance notice for assault and malicious damage offences. He's been ordered to appear in Manly local court next month. Mr Barillaro's latest appearance before a parliamentary inquiry has been delayed because of mental health issues. In Sydney, Aaron Ma, Nine News. Premier Daniel Andrews confirmed details for the Seekers lead singer Judith Durham's state funeral. The service will be held at Hamer Hall Tuesday the 6th of September starting at 7pm. Finance News, the share market up 63, the dollar by 69.54 US cents. Darren Groves knows the Hamilton property market. Call Darren at Groves Real Estate. Self-confessed Essendon hater Robert Walls has been appointed to the six-person committee to find the Bombers' next coach. Former NAB chief Andrew Thorburn is also part of the committee that will be headed up by Josh Marnie. Western Bulldogs captain Marcus Bontempelli says the club holds no fears coming into the finals as the eighth-ranked side. Oh, I'll give us every every chance. Um, I think yeah, our football definitely needs to probably improve, um, and that's what we'll be focusing on on this week. There's a lot of a lot of good teams. Obviously, we, we've just sort of snuck in. In the end, so we are where we are and we understand the aspects of our game that will need to be better. It's five past four. That's the latest in news and sport. If you
you have an unwanted tree that needs removing or trees that are encroaching on fence lines, Barco can sort it out. They're your local accredited professional team and one-stop shop for tree lopping and traffic management. The next time you try a McCafe coffee, you'll be enjoying the delicious taste of Australia's most popular barista-made coffee. Just one of many reasons to try McCafe. If you haven't been into beds lately, maybe you should check out the range and quality of their stock. They don't have any trouble competing on price and their staff really go that extra mile to help. It's no wonder they're going from strength to strength. Beds of Portland, Mix FM's years, Business of the Month. Mix FM, your official emergency world. broadcaster. So hitting the open road. On your next outdoor Mix adventure, FM selling or buying your home, well Edith Fox There's Southern Gravity and Livestock and Real Estate that, for Portland and Surrounds. Your four-day forecast for the Western District. Cloudy for the rest of this afternoon with light winds. Tomorrow for the footy and netball finals, we're looking at cloudy conditions. Just a slight chance of a shower, heading for a top of 16. Sunday, partly cloudy and 19. And Monday is when we can expect some showers. Possible thunderstorm as well, maybe between 6 and 10 mil of rain and heading for a top of 15 degrees. Harvey Norman Hamilton, your TV specialist. It's 11 degrees.